now if I go, I go hit the back arrow here. There's what the home screen looks like. And you can choose if you want to go to flasher mode or traditional fish finder. You can do split frequency. All right, I'm going to get back to fishing this hole. There's a fish down there that I want to catch. It came to look at, take a look at my shiner head. All right. Yeah, so this is what I'm using. Just a little jig head with a ripped piece of dead shiner on it, hooked right through the lips. That's what we, uh, Jason uses this setup right here and he catches black crappie, yellow perch. He did already today, caught a yellow perch out of the shelter with this same exact setup. Caught a couple black crappie right over here in front of me. So we're gonna get this Garmin turned back on and get this down in the hole so we can get that fish. There's one. Nice job, Dad. There's another one down there too. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> cool, Daddy. Yeah. First fish Oops. of the night. First fish of the day, right? Oop. Back in he goes. Finally. What was it? It was a yellow perch. What did you catch him on? I caught him on Show, the, show it. I can't. There's nothing left. It's just a little well, fire tiger. What, well, fire well. tiger tugston jig with a uh, minnow head. He took that and then I put the minnow body on and he, he uh, took it back and came back up for it again. All right, let's get back down there because we actually have fish here. Let's grab them. All right, let's see what we can do here. So, see this is the traditional fish finder on this Garmin Striker 4 sonar. It chirps when it detects fish and it's showing them down around the 10, 10, 11, 12 foot mark on the fish finder there. I think it might be uh, just some minnows, bait fish, or smelt. See it chirps as a fish enters the zone for the now if I go I go hit the back arrow here there's what the home screen looks like and you can choose if you want to go to flasher mode or traditional fish finder you can do split frequency here's what that looks like split frequency looks just like that Okay, right, so let's go. Let's go to flasher mode. Now, yeah, see, that's my lure at almost 14 feet deep. Showing fish at seven feet. I'm that that multicolored mark on the flasher. That's my lure right there. You can see, you can see it move as I jig up. Okay, so there it is at 14 feet. I'm gonna jig up, and it moves upward, and then goes drops back down to 14 feet. A jig up. And there's some flashing marks showing up around the seven foot mark area on the flasher. Those are fish checking out my lure. Not sure what they are though. Not sure. They won't bite what I'm giving them. I really should have bought some bait guys and put some traps up. I should have set my tip ups out some live bait so then maybe I'd catch something I'm sure it's just a matter of time I gotta keep switching lures until I find what they like so as I reel upward you can see my lure move higher in the water call there I got it there by seven feet so there's my lure at seven feet all those other marks on the flasher are fish. 
hanging out in the area and obviously it's chirping to indicate that there's fish nearby checking out the lure hmm So if I hit the back arrow, I can go back to the home screen, and I can go to traditional fish finder, and it'll show the fish, show the depth that the fish are at, and it'll chirp. Showing fish now around 8 feet, between 5 and 10, so they're probably at like between 6 and 8 feet deep. That's about where my lure is. They're following my lure, they're checking the lure out, following it chirps as they enter the screen. Have we got some fish? There's definitely some fish hanging out in the area. They won't commit to my lure though. For whatever reason. So 16.4 feet deep. The water temperature is 32 degrees. 32.19 degrees. That's the water temp. My battery is good at 12.5 volts. So I'm going to go back to Flasher. Chicken. So I can see if the fish are coming to check my lure out. Oh, yeah. Something just flashed right below my lure. Came up to check it out. Yes, sir. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy in the lake, won't you bite my little hook? Fishy, fishy in the lake, won't you bite my little hook? Come on, fish. Bite. Oh. I don't know why my buddy heater's making that noise. That's a new canister of fuel. Shouldn't be going out. Hmm. Come on, fish. Bite already. All right, everybody. I'm jigging in this hole with a little jig head with a, a ripped piece of shiner head off. And I got, I hooked the little jig head through the lips on that piece of dead shiner for added attractant. And I'm using my Garmin Striker 4. And you can see my lure with the little shiner head on it going up from 18 feet to about 12 when I jig up and there is a fish hanging out around the 12 to 15 foot mark oh now there's a fish down around the 20 foot mark he, he's checking always oh, coming to take a look at it there he is right there oh see it coming up to my lua oh 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 that's me at 18 feet and the fish is around 20 19 20 just came to take a look at it. Lower. Down a little lower. Come on, fish. Oh, the chirp, too. Also, the Garmin Striker 4s, they have a chirping sound when they detect fish. See that red and green next to my lure around 18 foot mark? That's a fish checking it out. Come on. He doesn't want to hit it. Alright. Trying to entice it here. So yeah, that's my lure with the little shiner head. Around 18 feet. There on the screen. When I jig up, you can see it move closer to the 12 foot mark. That's fish down there around 20 almost 24 feet oh oh I got to uh oh you got a flag okay hold on you just did huh all right I had to go to Jay let me reel in and come over there with you Jay just got a tip up he got himself a flag oh my that's all right. All right. 
Let's go see what he got. Go for it. Pick her up. See what we got. Got it. Another, another pickle. Yep. Call that one. <sighs> Man, it's, it's pickerel heaven right here. Yeah, have you caught a bass over there? Like second one out. Not re. Not was it there? That or the one? Nice. It was the one up from it. Just up, like to the left of the shelf. Oh, there's another like hawk, like bird flying over here. Uh, that, that was a nice one. Man. Whatever that was. Freaking swallow. It was like it. a kestrel. Oh, and you like already had to retie this one last time. They're kind of small, yeah. small little types. I'd leave it on the ice. There's our flurries again. Oh, you for Brill, for Brill guy. They all picked up and left. Yep. They're all gone. Oh, they're driving right down. Some of the guys, they're driving right on the ice right down. But that looks like a side by side, but it might be here on side by side. Yeah, that's a side by side. Come on, man. I'm gonna retie again. We got the place to ourselves again. You got your long ones? I uh, do. Oh, they're on the bucket over there. I don't. Do not. Oh, okay, get them. What's that? Hey, oh, you got it. Oh, you got the red hook. That's the type of hooks I got. Oh, red. Ooh. That's the size I'm using, too. That's a little bit of. Yeah, I'd still just. Oh, there we go. Don't worry, we're coming. There we go. There's a fish down there around. All right. Yeah, there's fish down there around 18 to 20 feet. All right, let's go. A few of them there, actually. All right, um. be me moving down to 12 18 almost the bottom there we go hit bottom all right so I'm at bottom put some tension on a reel in about once now I'm right near bottom more for the fish right there around 18 18 foot mark Oh, oh yeah, he's right there. See if we can get him. 